Yes. Documents potato. Potato? Voice meter potato. Alrighty, quiet on the set. Getting ready to do this thing we call lunch. Zoom Room Video Communications brought to you by the BMC. Quiet on the set! You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia and no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. Or a reasonable facsimile thereof. That's right. Yeah. Two yeah. idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to. And what's this going up in, there? In, yeah. in one idiot's <clears throat> uh, doing something really, really silly by not actually having things lined up properly. Oops. <clears throat> you broke it. Oh, hold on. Hold Laz on, hold is on. odd. What? Aloha. Laz is always odd. <laughs> you think I'm <laughs> odd. You gotta see the shit this guy's posting before stream. I, I, I'm not posting <laughs> anything bad inside of Discord. I would never post anything, anything that would be questionable in nature. I mean, just because I posted some baggage, some bag clips doesn't mean a damn thing. Bag clips, yeah. Multiple yeah. bags. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, it is Tuesday, September 17th, 2019. Here inside Shadity Avatar, inside and outside Shadity Avatar. Waldo, thank you very <laughs> much for those bits. That's right. Put on the big uh, stash yeah. there. With those wings, <laughs> I don't know what the heck they are, but uh, yes, don't forget, we've got face masks, at least I've got face masks of, uh, enabled here on stream. We have all sorts of interesting crap going on, also not going on, but uh, first and foremost, uh, we got to get a belated happy birthday out there to mm. our own Justin. And, of course, Bacon, Lady Bacon yes. herself, Lady Addie, Lady Addie. who had uh, birthdays yesterday, of course, had we been here, we would have wished you happy birthday then, but uh, first chance yep. we're getting to give those shout-outs to the ladies. Happy birthday, and uh, hope you all had great days. I know Justin did. I spoke to her yesterday for her birthday, so she had a good day. Fortunately, it's Tuesday and back to work for every everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah did you know her her, her work gives you your birthdays off? So uh, that's pretty cool. You think we should probably take nice. our birthdays off? Next well, year? <laughs> <laughs> since they both just passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to have a talk with our employer because uh, obviously. They need to work on our, our work schedule because know. it's so it's, uh, inconsistent. My manager sent out uh, for contract negotiations how long ago yeah. and still I know it's like still it. haven't seen the contract yet. <laughs> yeah, still got nothing. But uh, yes, uh, we are back after yet 
another one of our wacky extended weekend leaves because hey real life of course uh how was your trip jack did you uh well make it through uh i i know we found out something new about the tsa yeah, so, which is pretty interesting yeah so uh like the week before i my flight i went and renewed my driver's license because it expired on my birthday so I renewed my driver's license uh they cut off the corner it it's out of date. I have a temporary paper uh, driver's license. And so I get to the airport, get through security, got there extra early. Excellent. Not my normal, not my normal 40 minutes before boarding uh, or less. Um, so I was there like four o'clock in the morning for a 545 flight. No one in line walked up to the security guy and said, I know you're going to hate me for this. Um, Here's my expired ID and let me get the, my paper one. And he's like, no, this is good. Really? It's like, uh, your expired ID is actually good for travel for a year. I did not know that. Yes. So, yeah. So I, I, I walked right through security. No problems. Uh, when I was flying back from Tampa, uh, got up to the security line, just handed them my expired driver's license with a corner clipped out of it. And they're like, okay, you're good. It's like, yeah. It's like, okay. I seem to have lost some audio uh, here. You, you lost something? Lost some audio because, yes. Just, yeah. Uh, I see that there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Laz, you've got some suggestions to buy those chip clips for suggestions <laughs> to buy the for, chip clips. Yeah, to, to buy them for next month's giveaway. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, that that may be. Uh, yes. Speaking of this month's giveaway, uh, let's go ahead and start yeah. with the. Uh, our own uh, Lance, uh, Lance <laughs> Remain got her package. She uh, yeah. won the wireless charger this past month in our monthly giveaway. And thank you, Torque, for the host. Um, and yes. she, she messaged and said, hey, Laz, thanks. I got my package, got my stickers, and... Uh, yeah, just in time for her to go traveling, she says out there. And That's uh, excellent. Excellent. Go ahead and enjoy that, absolutely, uh, courtesy of NBNN. And yes, every month we started doing uh, giveaways for all our supporters out there, and there are several ways you can get in on this action. You can be a, 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 a subscriber to the channel which is something i was going to try and do yeah. away with but uh, you know hey if you got those amazon prime subs they don't cost you you're already paying for amazon this cat video is killing me <laughs> <laughs> just can't take my <laughs> eyes off of it <laughs> hey just, just wait until you get to the missionary positions <laughs> oh okay well that that's no uh yeah come on man you, yeah. you'll enjoy it a missionary is one position. I don't care what you say. No, anyway. no, no. This is missionary positions. Yeah. You, you have to pay attention to it. I it's all know. a bunch I see of missionaries. What looks like some reverse cowgirl going on there. I don't. I don't know. Hey, hey. Those <laughs> are clothing content, man. Look at the clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the clothes. Oh, well, I don't know. I can't see that. Can't see that, yeah, maybe maybe you should up. blow up the missionary positions. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Yeah, I, I just love the fact that they're wearing their up. name tags. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Multiple ways to do that. You can be a, a subscriber to the channel. You can uh, be a subscriber to Patreon. Patreon at the $5 or above level, or you can cheer in 500 bits or more every month, and that'll get you entered in this month's prize. Uh, I believe we have a picture of this here. 
get this up here. Mm -hmm. you, your your seamless butt lifter panties. The seamless answer. butt lifter panties yeah. that will enhance your butt. That's right. So uh, you can use it, give it to your girlfriend if you're a lady and you got a flat butt. Uh, you can use it for some cosplay, uh, whatever floats your boat. But uh, started out just uh, trying to do something, and it's gotten to be just a little bit off the rails, just like the rest of the show. Uh, of course, Buckaroo Bonsai would claim to the uh, partially used roll of electrical tape. I know. And, it, that was uh, the best, best, he just, best He just ever. wanted bragging rights to that. But uh, congrats to him. He does have the bragging rights. Congrats to Lancel. And don't forget, you too can get a chance to win either uh, that or 500 gold kodos. Uh, depending where you live depends on the uh, rules that apply. If you're overseas, sorry to physical goods, just don't ship there. It's not worth it. But uh, those folks will get the uh, 500 gold crowns automatically. Speaking of giving things away, let's open up a giveaway here today. Uh, you know, I, again, I never do this on time, or at least when I do. But uh, let's put that announcement out there. Which announcement? Oh, that the spam, 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 bacon, spam. eggs, and spam. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot to test that the marbles today. Yep, it's working. You you, for, you forgot to test. I'm surprised you didn't have a race and you were playing with yourself in the background. Well, I am now. <laughs> But yes, uh, first giveaway uh, today is Ferocious Obsidian Bear Pet, courtesy of Storm's Pets. And uh, Storm's Pets is opening three new locations throughout Novia. He's got plenty of locations for you to shop. If you're looking for him, just look for the shops called Storm's Pets. I know you'll find one in Oceana. You'll find one out in uh, Journey's End and several other towns. Uh, for your shopping convenience. But yes, yep. don't forget, uh, plenty of ways to support, plenty of ways to win, and just join in on the shenanigans, because, hey, you know, we don't suggest anybody watch this show. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's for your own good. Stay away. That's right. Yep. Okie dokie, moving right along, we've got a uh, little update from the weekend. Yeah, well, uh, I, mean, we, we, yeah, I mean, it is Taco Tuesday and everything, but we it can is. talk about we can talk about that update of the Avatar number 349. 349. Yeah. Because now, on the add-on store, there's lots more colorful gust balls. We have balls. We've got colored book gust balls. We, we've got. I don't see no blue balls. They're blue balls. Well, there, there's a blue green one. So bluish green. Yes, there is. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and show that for everybody. We got uh, gust balls. Yeah, so, so if you bring up your your crown, crown shop. shop, and then you do a search for gust. Balls. Under new pets. Yep. Under new pets. And you can get a pair of leather balls. You can get a pair of quilted balls. You can get a pair of striped, striped balls. balls. <laughs> or you can get the six pack. That's right. Oh, you can get all the balls right there in game. That's right. I don't know, Gus Balls yep. in the Crown Store, just, I don't know, something just don't feel right about that. But I, I like them, I gotta say, uh, very, very, <coughs> very inventive, and uh, just like marbles, uh, we, we gotta, you know, buy some extra balls, and of course, Jack made sure he had the blue balls. Blue yep. ball. I, I do have a blue singular. ball. Blue ball. In marbles, I have a blue ball. Until I get more free points. But then also the double-sized ornate 
uh, guess ball field. Double uh, that size. Is... Okay, I don't yeah. quite get that. The regulation size is regulation size, right? Yeah. Um, who made up those regulations? I don't know. Bambi? <laughs> Bambino. Okay, yeah. Eagle, thank you for the bits, my friend. Yeah. Thank you for the support. You the so, man. Woohoo. Thank you, Eagle. So if you look at the Gust Ball field, you can see that it is there. Um, why why they included a a detailed picture of the referee stand uh, is beyond me. Because the referee stand is now standalone. You didn't know that? Oh, okay. Yeah. And where do you see the detailed picture of the recipe? In the crown store, you click on the ornate double-sized oh, guest ball I field, and then you, 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 let's, you let's do the, uh, look at that. the sketch fab thing. Now, I'd like to know, is it really... Yeah, it does. definitely does look double-sized. And why did they do that? Double size gust ball field. Yeah. I know it's at the request of players, but it's like gust ball hasn't had a lot of play lately. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, heard much on the gust ball front. Uh, people are playing it. I'm I'm unawares, but uh, of yeah. course, uh, who's got this? All right, who is that there? Ekondis. Ooh, that was an yes. interesting blow. Yep. So we have a and new visual effects on Gus now. How long has that been around? been that long since i've actually used gust. used gust i don't or, even or i don't into even any think i've element, trained elementals? it since persistence let's take a look at this what is that the air tree i don't know but uh, thank you caffeine for sending me messages during the show here let me click uh play on this because yeah, I, I know I that old lady have a whopping seventeen wants points some dick. in gust. You only have seventeen points in gust. I, I think I think I have more than you do. I don't know. I have to GM that. Now speaking, <clears throat> of, I've got thirty-three. Uh, speaking of skills and skill tree, there's a uh, conversation going on out there of not being able to uh, train. The train summon pet health out there, and the guy is standing at the animal tamer. The uh, what's the word for him? Uh, the expert animal tamer, trying okay. to tame train summon pet health in the focus tree, and of course he's still scratching his head, wondering why he can't. Train this at any skill trainer. And of course, not every skill trainer, A, will train second tier skills, although they should. But B, this is a <coughs> specialty skill that, uh, of course, requires a specialty trainer, whether you like it or not. Uh, so anyway, just uh, for the information, he'd been given the information in the thread out there, and uh, he's like, well, that doesn't make sense. And it's like, well, dude, that's how it works. doesn't have to make sense. But mm -hmm. uh, you can train that skill by going to the expert focus trainer right here on the walk path right over the other side of the wall here in Owl's Head, if you're perplexed by that one. But yes, you can now train pets, summon pet health, uh, train summon pet resist, and summon pet damage. I don't know. Anybody working with this stuff yet? Anybody got uh, any uh, insight to how that stuff's working out for you? Just let us know. Because I, I haven't touched it yet. 
And then Ikonda's here. He, he's got a... I, I got to address one of Ikonda's uh, bug reports. Ikonda's is reporting that... Uh, let me get this up here again because this was funny. I think I put it in there earlier. Is it in the green room? <laughs> There's lots of stuff in the green, yeah, green room. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah. Go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh. Oh, yeah. We, we Bank could... nested container is frustrating. Uh, <laughs> oh, that, that's a lot of scrolling back. It is. But, uh, the complaint basically is that. Uh, when you double click a nested container and it's not in the same deposit look it, it causes the container to be moved into your inventory now yep. I thought that if you double clicked it regardless of where it was it, it pulls it out of your the inventory uh, yeah and then he claims that it's a pain in the butt to find it in your pack now I don't know why that would be such a pain in the butt, since if you do an inventory, the first thing that shows in your pack is containers. So I, I don't see the conundrum here, buddy. Um, you know, your your chests are the, and containers are the first thing listed by item name, um, so hence should not be hard to find even if that happened. So um, yeah, talking about you, Candace. <laughs> <clears throat> um, it not working as intended. I think that's the the complaint. So if the container's inside the bank and then you try to get the contents that are inside of it, your normal pattern would be to open it, which is double click on it, but that puts it in your inventory. And so he's getting lost. So it's not the expected um, ah, he's behavior. saying, yeah, he, he put that in feedback and not a bug report. As yeah. uh, I read it as a bug report, so I, I misread that because it looks like a bug report. Hey, man. Well, he's got all the, you know, slash bug information below it, so, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. It looks like a bug report, but anyway. Yeah. Moving right back Moving to the, the right, along. right back to the uh, the weekend update. Um, a bunch of uh, vault items are back. The vault. This, this time, skull vault. cloaks, prisoners' masks, torn and tattered wedding dresses, spooky fountains, dead hedges, all Halloween stuff. Yay, including the obsidian four-story row home. Is that just a regular one, or is that the... Yeah, okay, that's not the prison home. That looks like the prison home. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. That, I mean, the... But at the same time, Star has misidentified Oopsie. pictures and houses Once before, twice. so... Yeah, a couple times. Um, don't forget, if you log in September, you get... Breathing fire dragon statue. Breathing fire dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, the rewards program. Blah. And that's it. Blah. That's it. That is, that, that is the, the weekend update. Once upon a time, took time to read. Yes, uh, quick and short to the point. Again, not a whole lot of information, uh, that. Yeah. And Don't since we were the comments back, yeah, since we weren't here on Friday, there was a patch that did come out, and that is actually related to something else that we need to talk about. So Friday Hold was on. you're hung up. I'm hung up. Oh, you broke things again. Yeah, Zoom just uh, said nope. We we don't want to show Jack motion. Uh, that's okay. It's okay. Still working on my end. So build number 1041 came out on Friday in, in the evening. And that was multiple players can view chest and mannequin contents simultaneously for view only access while also allowing one player to open the container for take modify access. Very interesting. Uh, 
how that's working because uh, it it yeah we, I had a discussion the other night about this. Uh, so yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Open my soapbox that's right behind you. Yep. Hang on a second. Get there. So. I got a question for you. I can't open it. Gotta get to it. Oh, it's interesting. This object container is in use by another player. Okay. Now, now I've closed out of it. What does it tell you? Can you add something to it? Or do you have to close it and reopen it? Uh, well, the idea, and this is weird because I just tested this yesterday with uh, uh, Zeke. But, yeah, like, uh, yeah, right now I can't open be it. Looking, yeah, we could both be looking. Let's go over to my lot and use a uh, trunk over there or a chest over there. Well, I couldn't open it until uh, you closed out of it. Yeah, no, we tried this yesterday, and yesterday we were both able to look into the same chest at the same time. So if I'm on my lot and I'm opening this chest here, mm -hmm. can you look into this chest now that I've got it open? Yeah, finally. Okay, so you can see everything that's in that chest now. Yeah. So let's go over here. Try, but... Uh, I think it's different if you actually have permissions to use that chest, though. Because that's a chest that I can only look at anyways. Well, I don't try, have permission on that chest. Let's try this trunk over here. and Let's just see. I tried it on our trunk. <clears throat> uh, I mean, that's what the soapbox is, is a trunk. Right. Can you open that trunk now that I've got it open? Yeah, but that's because I don't have permission to do anything with that trunk. But you can open. I can it. O Yeah, I can open it, and you, now, you've got a I've, bunch of bags. I've already and got it open. And that's what they're saying: is that if I've got it open, you can still come look at it and see what's now, there as well. Okay, so now why come back can't here? I look at the one on you a lot? That's uh... that. That is that is what I was saying. Is because. So go ahead and open it up. And you yeah, should well, not be me, able to. Uh, now you is. should be able to get into it. Yep, I'm into it. I can't get into it because I have permissions to do things to that chest. What do you and mean? you have permission. So if you look at the permissions, you can add things to that chest. I gotcha. I have yeah. trusty and yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, so you can you can add things to the soapbox. So that's why gotcha. it's doing that. So if both of you have like permissions, only one can look at it. That's yeah, uh, got it. Then got it. Uh, after, so new Gus Ball fields and patterns were in, uh, came out. The bug fix that prevented equipping items from a mannequin via drag and drop was corrected. It added more vault items and store updates. That's what came out on Friday. Um, but on September 11th, build number 1037, all artifacts are now enchantable. Masterwork enchantable! For... Yeah, yeah, where? I thought that was in Friday's update was the one for the uh, uh, the thing. The masterworking. Fix. I don't know, but the, or did the, they take it out of the the patch in notes? Ten thirty seven, we actually covered this on Thursday when yeah. it came out. But uh, we can jump right to the topic that you're talking about and uh, yeah. just go ahead and give everybody. Uh, we we will need to look at page one first, and then so as star initially states the new plus three stat effects for grandmaster work weapons are not showing up due to a bug we will have this fixed for a patch early next week our apologies for the delay update a fix for this went in on friday september 13th in an evening patch that friday, was the patch we just 13th. talked about notice no patch notes was not there a first round of these effects should now be appearing. Apologies for the delay. 
Pay attention. A first round of these effects should now be appearing. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then scroll all the way down page to two. page two. And then you can see that from the patch notes, fixed issue with mi uh, missing masterwork effects uh, with a bunch of questions about where are they. Then we scroll down to stars answer. And fix for the first round of these went in on Friday night's patch, followed by more star answer and um, um, you know, no ETA on when additional things are going in and maybe a few releases as they work on other priorities. And point is, don't wait for more, as Sarah Dragon was saying. They don't have an ETA on when the next round of Masterworking and enchanting is gonna be is going fixed. to go in. <clears throat> Beyond and go in. Yeah. says they changed the wording on Friday and Saturday. <clears throat> I don't know where you see this, Fionn. When we, we that, that's what we're just looking for. We're looking to see if there was any other notes on that. But uh, are you talking about the other one with the? Uh, the containers. <sighs> I gotta sign into fucking. Oh yeah, she's talking about the one the containers. Absolutely. Yeah, that was changed, and again, uh, that that's one of the hot topics out there. We'll touch a little bit more on that in just a minute. But gotta go ahead, give you all a chance to uh, find, get in on this giveaway, giving away a. Ferocious Obsidian Bear, courtesy of Storm's Pets, and I give you just another few seconds to exclamation, I love free shit, while you're out there. Of course, uh, don't forget, <clears throat> while we're live, use the link for loots and uh, send us a message. Don't cost you nothing, don't cost us anything. Mm -hmm. Puts a couple pennies in our pocket, and we do appreciate it. <clears throat> All righty. Going to close out the giveaway and pick us a wiener. And Lancel Lancermain, congratulations. You are the winner of a ferocious obsidian bear pet. Again, courtesy of Storm's Pets. And we're going to go ahead and we'll get, uh, let's do this. are we doing gonna do last giveaway ten thousand gold coins courtesy of cc and cc's bazaar oh because uh Yay. cc's cool and likes to get sponsored on all the local shows and uh streams throughout mm, novia yeah. and cc just happens to be a friend of the show so uh oh absolutely we, we were sitting on the on the lot the other day and cc's like here give some of this away on the show i was like i can do that so yes exclamation i love free shit get in ten thousand gold courtesy of cc and cc's bazaar also at locations all over the lands including uh right here in owl's head right off of burning toad road but you didn't mm. know there were names to streets here in owl's head I'm aware of that. <laughs> what street do we live on? Um, not yeah, Burning Toad Road. No. <laughs> uh, I can't even remember it. I have to put up. Uh, I'd have to pull up the other map. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not Burning Toad Road. It was something way. Now, Burning Toad Road is like the first uh, right when you come into uh, into Owl's Head down at the end. I I, I can't believe that the, the map went backwards so so much 
Well, again, we're, we're waiting to see again. There is no timeline. There is no quarterly updates. So it's hard for us. Yeah, to we, tell we have exactly no clue is when going on with things. Expect so anything. Yeah, we, 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 we pick and choose what we get out of the forums and out of the updates so that we can try and keep you guys and gals updated on the latest happenings. But uh, yes, yeah. going back to uh, the container permissions, uh, again, I was having this discussion with somebody, a uh, couple people throughout the weekend, and a uh, couple scenarios came up, uh, of course, with uh, the second age, uh, which I don't know why I want to keep calling it the second age. That's why I did that. Yeah. Is uh, um, episode two uh, in the works and. Uh, constantly under development there's supposed yeah, to be it's... some new stuff coming in with that and um one of the theories that uh, the permission changes will have something to do with affecting possibly trading containers uh down the line as well as uh, lock picking and stealing from containers later on down the line so <clears throat> Uh, Good. Quite possibly that some of these growing pains are actually uh, just something that we're not being told about, but quite possibly are needed for future expansion. Yeah, uh, sun sundown lane. Sundown, sundown lane. Is where lane we're at. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I love the fact that Fionwin just posted uh, the original patch notes from Friday, uh, or from the other day, from ten forty one. Where chess should, a, chess should hmm. again be private <laughs> with the negative. <laughs> I love that uh, negative. Yes, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Again, they're not private by any means. And uh, again, mm -hmm. it's anybody's guess right now who, what, when, where, how, or why that's being changed. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna stop venturing the guess, um, and just roll with it. If you're worried about your stuff, the only thing we can tell you is lock it up behind locked doors. Uh, otherwise, aside from it just being generally annoying, uh, at the moment it doesn't seem to be exploitable where people can steal or take anything. Everything is still locked in the chest. Just people can go and shop your containers. So. With that being said, yeah. um, I'm probably going to have a container out here in front the next uh, portion of this week, and I'm going to be offering up uh, bundles and other items for sale. And all you'll have to do is come sit you know, with us, look in there, and go, hey, uh, how much for this? How much for that? Make me How many play. bits for this? Yeah, how, you know, how many bits for this? How many bits for that? Let's play, play late. Let's make a deal. Uh, for the next portion of the uh, yeah of the week I, coming up. Because, so uh, someone yeah. actually uh, posed a question about why we don't spend more time covering player um, player events in the game. We tried that early on. And, and you you want to tell them? I, I, yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna so, let you, I'm gonna let you tell yeah. them while I face bomb over here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we initially covered almost every Everything. single player event on the calendar you for talk six about months. Burnout, real quick. I'll tell you. And what. that means that we were in game all the time, just going from player event to player event. We also streamed a significant portion of those. The problem became one where our event starts at one and is over at three. The reality became player event doesn't start till three and ends at seven. Because, hey, whatever. And so we had an issue with calendars not working properly people not respecting times of events and that led us to burn out significantly faster than mm -hmm. if we could sit there and say you know what i got an hour break i'm, I'm gonna go do whatever and then i'm gonna go do this event and so you end up with uh 
um, a couple of the same events. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now and again, then, just yeah, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll even go and take it a step farther. Um, for those of you folks who have, you know, uh, limited time to play, limited time to watch streams, just basically any, you know, limitations in time scheduling in life. Yes. Figure that you, you took time out of your day to go do something, and when you got there, there was only one person there when you were expecting 20, 30, 50 people. And yeah. everybody said, oh... Well, we're on our way, and it took everybody another hour to finally get there before Show up, your yeah. event. That would be like, you know, paying for tickets to an event, going to see somebody in a stadium, and then the band doesn't show up uh, for another... Uh, the road crew doesn't even show up until you're seated, and then they start setting up the stage while you're seated, waiting for the band to come on, you know? Um, yeah. It really... Blow, it blows so um yeah we used to cover the weekly fights we used to cover every gus ball of, we used to cover every dance party and none of these events started on time you know when yeah. it's one o'clock you tell people hey one o'clock is one o'clock you get there yeah. about the only one that ever <clears throat> truly started close enough i gotta say was always um <clears throat> the uh torch uh quest they did it every sunday but at, <clears throat> yeah but that thing was originally supposed to be one hour long and three hours later it's so, still not yeah, done sometimes get extended longer than the initial hour yeah and, and yeah. it's 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 one where it's like oh fuck me it, yeah, I mean, it started I, I on time, but I can't sit yeah. here waiting all day. And uh, finally, <clears throat> we, we just said, you know what? Hour a day, five days a week, stick to the schedule. And this is what we do. We'll, and, we'll read off your events. We'll tell you what's going on. The only problem is it's up to you to make sure that everything. Uh, yes, uh, make sure it's in one of the public yeah. calendars. We have a couple of them out there, and if you don't know how to do that, you can reach out to me, and I'll get you on one of them. Or you can create your own calendar. If, uh, again, uh, let's just go to the calendar real quick. We're, uh... <clears throat> and if you bring up the calendar on nbnn.info and click on the little carrot over here, you'll see a whole list of calendars. These are all individual yes. calendars that we know about that we have listed here. And they're all kept by their own, you know, individual. Whoever is the owner. Yeah. Many of them you can see are guild calendars, everything from uh, the BMC, uh, Burns Reach, College of Arms, Dara Bray, EVL, um, even the Heart of Britannia. Um, yes, mm -hmm. e e even uh, <clears throat> the Brit Heart of Britannia's calendar has been there. Just uh, there's been no posts from Rustic Dragon until recently. And when he posts a new event, it'll be there. Uh, it gets just, up on the calendar. That's so right. That way we can read it off and tell people about it. So, so yeah. Uh, th that's why Jack likes to complain or just, you know, point out that, hey, your calendar is not updated, which reminds me, we don't read the streamer's calendar because same problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's many like... Many of those people are either uh, not streaming at the time that they, you know, say they're going to That are on the calendar, yeah. Or are no longer streaming whatsoever, you know, um, because either real life got in the way or they've moved on to something else and you know, has, has, hasn't has notified folks that, hey, I'm not doing this anymore. So, um, yep. sometimes we got to make a game call. But speaking of making a game call, since we're just about there anyway, is uh, don't forget the calendar is a feature that you'll find right here on the website, nbnn.info. And of course, in the uh, app that we have available in the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store for all your old electronic de devices. Ooh, excuse me. 
because some of their new electronic devices just don't support the, the app. And uh, I've stopped updating it with anything new. I'll keep uh, links and stuff like that alive as long as I can. But the calendar function is there. The marketplace is there. The other links and stuff are there. You can listen to the radios and, of course, read the NBNN Daily Britannian as one of the features of the app. But uh, let's go ahead and tell folks what's on the calendar for today right here inside yeah. Trinity Avatar. That it's community Tuesday. calendar is at nbnn.info. Click on the calendar button. And you too can look at the aggregated mess of all the Google public it's calendars. As, as last said, we uncheck the Shroud of the Avatar live streamers most of them don't stream at that time. Um, but all times on the community calendar are central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as nude Britannia nude time. Britannia time. Today is Taco Tuesday, the 17th. It's Taco. also my niece's birthday. Just don't ask me Happy birthday. how old she is. She was born in 2004. I know that. So that what makes her what? 15? 15? Or 16? I don't know. Bad on or was she born in 2003? I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, but I, I, I have to bring up Google Calendar because that tells me that it's her birthday. At least my calendar. She was born in 2004. So at, she's least, 50. at least you have a good idea. I'd, I'd have to go back and like cheat and like look at Google Photos to find mine because, you know. Well, I, I do have I her pictures her, her from when baby. they were born. <laughs> I, I do have that in my wallet, uh, uh, or in the picture yeah. thing that's supposed to be in my wallet. And then I have my... two nieces and a nephew that my brother just married into that uh, yeah. I, I couldn't tell you for the life of me because... Uh, yeah. What their names are? Well, I know all their names. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah. Uh, all times are central time in the real world. Uh, Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s around the clock. It's a simulcast on Way to Your Radio Free Britannia of two idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to whenever they feel like it. We know, no. We yeah. just show up. In Thradia, that is true. I love playing with my hair. He does. When I when I had long hair, it's like I'd, I'd play with it back here. Now I, I just... It's the only hair I get to play with. I guess I could play with like... Uh, my other hair but y'all really pipe, be confused yeah frost pipe is one of them uh, other rare ones there was only two items in that uh yeah that bundle in that bundle yes and i have a couple of those available maybe i'll break those out for uh let's make a deal starting tomorrow we'll bring up a chest out of the basement yep Moving <clears throat> right along. Moo. Two o'clock this afternoon, you should join Sean Silverfoot for the Paxlayer Town Bad Manager Hour finger. and bug him about all things related to Paxlayer. And ask him why the worst feature in the game is fishing, and he will tell you. Fish. Yep. Uh, then after that, uh, 7 p.m., this evening is the 70s at 7 on Away to Your Radio yes, Free Britannia. 70s and at 7. That is followed by The Wicked Room with Waz's Wad at 10 p.m. WRFB Radio Free Britannia. <clears throat> That's yep. right. Don't forget, uh, we yeah, again, with the uh, bug reports out there, we're waiting for that to get fixed. And uh, thanks to Burko out there, got to give a shout out to him Excellent. for uh, going ahead and showing people he forgot about the ad function in the radio, like he had said. Is that's right? You huh? can go ahead and just add other radio stations. Yes, you can. Ness Ladi Dada, thank you. You just you're a new follower. I thought you followed us quite some time. Mm -hmm. But how you doing, Ness? Oh. Good to see you out there. But yes, if you have uh, different stations that you uh, like to listen to, you don't have to just uh, 
you know, tune in your local airwaves. Most likely they've got an internet stream someplace and you too can just click on the add button and add the station and the URL right there and uh, listen to your favorite radios inside Shroudity Avatar. New Sky Blabber, thank you for the bits, another hundred bits. And we got the, what is it, a tinfoil hat up there. Holy crap, that was one heck of a gust ball shot. Did that actually go up and over? Um, I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, see, he gave it a blow, man, and it went right over our head. Went looked like it went right over to the, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> it was at this what moment that he knew he fucked up. That's some That's blowing. Right. That, that, blowing that hard some... there, baby. Yeah, Eagle, that was a hard thank blow. Thank you. Using He's got some lungs on him. Out there. And yes, we have a soundboard where you can also cheer in bits out there right below us and uh, play some sounds for a couple bits and uh, chime in your thoughts on what we're talking about. But that that was cool. I, I could see where that would be. Uh, what were you doing there, uh, Econ? This is that uh, just charging it up for a extra long blow. Uh, he, yeah, yeah, he charged charging it. it. Okay, cool. Very cool indeed. And uh, again, don't forget that new new Gus balls. There's uh, several pairs of balls available for you in the crown shop as well as that double-sized uh gus ball field because if you can blow like that i can tell you, you it should be pretty interesting um playing on that extra large field so but meanwhile we gotta talk about uh, a couple of the folks who keep us here on the air and of course a lot of that comes from folks like you supporting us right here on nbnn.info twitch.tv slash genesis twitch.tv slash nbnn news if you're catching us on replays on twitch and on YouTube, we do appreciate it. Click those sub buttons, click those follow buttons, click those notify buttons when you get out there watching and replays because we need the followers, we need the helps, and we need the views. Of course, click the links below, become a patron, all sorts of ways to help support the streams. The Britannian Mining Company wants you to come check out Black Rock Cove. And of course, for another year, the Britannian Mining Company is going to be supporting us and bringing you our Zoom Room video communications. Uh, thanks to their support, um, they host the Zoom Room that Jack and I use every day and is available for you guys to come in and join us and hang out as well. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest news and entertainment 24-7 around the clock. Including us at 12s and 6s, uh, Wake Up New Britannia every Friday at 6 a.m. Sister Love on the airwaves at 6 p.m. We got Sarah and Ander with a double shot on Thursdays. Nurse Justin Thursdays in prime time and much more news and entertainment throughout the week. Shroud Music for all your ABC file needs, or at least to get you started, go to shroudmusic.com to check them out. Caffius is wares because Caffius has uh, got bills to, to pay, folks. Uh, he's got to buy that new game for not only him, but his kids, because they want to play too, Dad. So uh, don't right. forget. And, uh, of Already course, done. That's right. Already done. I love hearing that. Back our, onto the braces. Our favorite sponsor, ShroudMarketplace.com, for all your virtual vendable goods, including uh, just about anything that you can think of, from services to weddings to, uh, I don't know, Jack, God, this is your spiel, so I'll let you take it from here. <laughs> you were doing such a... a I know. A, 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 a job. Such a, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, shroudmarketplace.com is the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. 
anything and everything that is not a bannable offense so you can feel confident that you can buy your stuff and not panic about am i doing anything bad no the gray market or the the secondary market is an approved thing in shroud of the avatar it is something that has existed in the game for five plus years shroudmarketplace.com has been there for two so you or is it three two or i was gonna say it gotta be longer than two gotta be over three in my in my opinion three Three years for Shroud know. Marketplace? Can, I don't know. It's been a while. I've it's been, been a while. here long enough time. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's been here <laughs> a long time. It will be here tomorrow, too. But anything and everything from over 150. 150 160. Yeah, uh, let's see. It was the last time we took account and officiated mm. that. I'll have to do that after the show. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's about 160 uh, it's a different players registered as people, vendors. Folks. Yeah. Anything and everything from each each of those vendors. So you can go if you're looking for accounts, if you're looking for game gold, if you're looking for services, including some of our favorite services, you can find them at Shroud Marketplace. Just like the cheesiest writing ever from Wolfdom Shop. That's right there. I mean, it's so cheesy. We are clients. Laz paid that 10 bucks for the cheesiest writing That's out there. Right. Yeah. Anything and everything. Show you this right here in front of yeah. us, right? Uh, okay. You, you want to look, you want to look at the, the, the glorious, yes. the gloriousness of wedge I love of this cheese. Shit. That's right. The wedges yeah. of veggies of cheese. That's yeah. right. That so cheesy that it says, I love this shit and runic. We almost got banned for that, too. But yes, uh, anything and everything, um, including mom's or refining service, because you, you know what mom loves to do? She, she loves, loves for to you. Refine or... I know. I mean, you give her the some cash, then trade her the ore, then she supplies the coke. She has a... A really fun party, and then she comes back and she says, "Hey, here's your ingots. It's a great thing. I mean, time is money, and uh, she's gonna have a blast one way or another." Uh, I mean, creator Bus Gusball Bambino's got his host a game Bambino service. Bambino Ludovate. Yeah. The creator also got of some Gusball. leveling. You've got some leveling services. You've got Sater Fer Ferns. Uh, Stinker, st stinky sewer shop, stinky and his, sewer shop. Right. his maze ticket. Don't forget the haunted keep of Solania is out there. It is a, an impressive maze, and if you get that maze ticket, at the end of it, you get to collect a hundred thousand gold. That's right. There's a questing yeah. game run by a player that'll allow you to claim a hundred thousand gold just for oh, completing yeah. it. I mean, come on, folks. Oh yeah, uh, all sorts anything of great everything. stuff, mm. including, including my shop, his my shop. shop, including my shop, Ca caffeine shop, caffeine shop. Don't forget Skeggy shop because Skeggy needs some beer money for the convention. And of course, a quick reminder that convention tickets are still on sale, as is T-shirts and uh, other swag. I believe it's just T-shirts. To be honest with, you. but it's all uh, kinds of stuff. yeah. Several different varieties to choose from, that much I know. And you can get yours by going to sodaicon.org for the latest updates and information. Going to be a hoot like every year. We go down to Austin. We hang out with the devs. We have a couple of events. We have a couple of panels. We uh, eat some food, drink some libations, and have a great time. But, of course, don't forget also Lazarus Long's Weddings and more. Not just weddings, but a whole lot more. If you're looking for telethon rares, you're looking for uh, bulk ore, bulk suet, bulk granite, come see me because I've got it and I'll sell it to you fairly cheap right here on Shroud Marketplace. And, of course, going to remind everybody, exclamation I love free shit for a chance to get in on 10,000 gold giveaway happening here. 
in just another minute or two as we go ahead and end the stream and wind on down for oh, today. Yeah. Because, hey, CC... I, uh, CC I, I have to help to... someone else celebrate their birthday today. Ooh, okay. Just doing a lot yeah. of celebrating lately. It's it's good. It's going to be a fun celebration. <laughs> We're going to light the candles. Spankings. Birthday spankings. It's going to be awesome. Got to thank Eagle, Waldo, Noob Sky Blabber for their donations uh, today. Got to thank... Ness Lottie Dada for the follow, and of course, always good to see you out there, Ness. And of course, always good to see the rest of you guys and gals joining us. We do appreciate you tuning in for the show and checking out what two idiots got to say day in and day out right here on NBNN. And without you guys and gals, well, we wouldn't be here doing what we're doing. We do appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and close out that giveaway and pick ourselves a winner. And our winner, Benetrix, for 10,000 gold. So congratulations to uh, both of our winners today, Lancer, Lancer Main, and Benetrix. You have a great day, folks. I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. We'll be back with more tomorrow right here. Till then, we're out of here. Have a great day. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love that picture of Thradia. I thought you might.